Hey guys, welcome to okay, stand up, please. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it moved again. Okay, it's plugged into the charge, so it's moving. Um, welcome back to the last week. So you may notice the last video, which was actually Monday, because uh, I'm doing like two today and then one tomorrow morning. Um, isn't the type of video I normally do. That was just a fun thing I wanted to do, and I didn't really have an idea for the house and pray video, but this time I do. Uh, so I have my computer here. This is my mouse, and. I'm going to see how much I know about Little House on the Prairie. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to mind. I'm not sure what these questions are. I haven't even looked at them. Um, but I found this at grizzly.com, so like quiz grizz or something. Um, I'll see if I can put the link in the description and you can do this quiz as well. And let me know your score because maybe you did better than me. Okay, let's... Start. First question, what is the correct order of the Ingalls' biological daughters from oldest to youngest? And we have Mary Laura, Mary Laura, Carrie, Grace, Laura, Mary, Grace, Carrie, Grace, Carrie, Laura, Mary, and Carrie, Laura, Mary, Grace. The answer is A. That is correct. Okay. And apparently 94% of people have gotten that question correct, so that is a pretty easy question. Okay. What is the name of Laura Ingalls' Ingalls's dog? And we have Jack, Harry, George, and Polly. The answer is A, Jack. Alright, and ooh, 94% as well, okay. Uh, next one. What is the name of Almanzo and Laura's biological daughter? The answer is, why are these all A? This is Rose. Born December 5th, 1886. Hmm, I did not know that. Celebrated journalist travel. Okay, well, that's kind of breaking off the point of the TV shows and going into actual stuff, which I don't really know that much about. Okay. Oh, what? Who did American actor Kevin Hagen portray in The House and Prairie? Okay, we have. Okay, good. The answer is not A, because A is Willie Olson, B is Jonathan Garvey, C, Dr. Hyman Baker, D, Almanza Wilder. C, Dr. Hyman Baker. Yep, one to nine. 92% of people got that, okay. Most notable role of, ha of Hagen's hacking career. Hmm, that's pretty good, actually. Okay. When did Little House in the Prairie first premiere? Oh. It's either A or C. September 11th, 1974. September 30th, I said, I'm going to go with March 30th, I said, Oh, it was, December, it was September 11th. Okay, so that one I kind of got a little messed up with. What is the name of Ingalls' his adopted son? Okay, well, the picture here is not of Albert. It is of Matthew Liberto. But that is of Matthew Liberto portraying young Charles in the episode. I remember, I remember. So that, the picture is incorrect. So, <laughs> nitpicky things. Um, answer is Albert. Yes, and that is correct. Okay. What is the name of the store well, owned by the operated by Harriet and Nels Olsen. It is Olsen's Mercantile. Okay. Little House and Prairie is based on a series of novels written by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, what Little House and the Prairie actor left the show for two years to star in Carter Country? Ooh. Okay, well the picture here is of Victor French, so I'm assuming it's Victor French. Okay, yeah, see, they can't do that. They can't put pictures like that because then people will automatically know. 77, 79. So that would have been in 5 and 6, which makes sense. Because Mr. Edwards is not in any of those seasons. Finish the quote of the Wild Orleans Water. Blank is the nicest word there is. Home. Yes. Yes. Okay, so very first episode of Harps to Friends, following conversation from Lord and I have signed something. What is that half pine? Home is the nicest word there is. One of the nicest, that's for sure. That is very true. Okay. It, what is Mr. Edward's signature song in the house in the prayer? It is Old Dan Tucker. Old Dan Tucker, the final man, my face in a frying pan. Okay. Um, the reason I'm not showing you these questions is because you'll be able to see the answers and you know which one I'm clicking if you do this quiz, even though I did say, like, two of the answers. Um, and I'm not high screen record yet, so we'll see. Okay, what career did Adam Kendall pursue upon regaining his vision? Ooh, good. This is a question that could ship you off, because you might just say, oh, career does Adam Kendall do? Well, he teaches. But upon regaining his vision, he is a lawyer. 
Oh, I have to get the continue button. Duh. Okay. Um, other than their mother, who was Mary and Laura's first teacher? Uh, Eva Beetle. Because... No, it's not going to show me the ants. Oh, okay. Alice Garvey was, but not for Ma well, not for Mary, just for Laura. Mrs. Amanda uh, May Whipple is technically was teacher made, but for sewing, and Nancy Olson would have been a horrible teacher. <laughs> um, where did the Ingalls, Olsons, and Garvey families move when times got hard on the grow? It was Winoka. In the book, I believe it's Baroque, Iowa. But then again, I'm not sure. Uh, what television network first aired the house in the park? I believe it is NBC. Yes, because PBS, that's not something PBS would have done. And I wouldn't know because I know. Okay. How old was Laura when she accepted her first teaching position? She was 15. If the episode was 16, was, um, she was 16, but she did turn 16 in the episode. Of course, this one is saying, this is talking about her in real life, so I'm not going to mention that. Okay. Um, what is the name of Almanzo's brother? Royal. I was going to say he has two brothers, but only- actually, he does have two brothers. He has older one, Royal, and a younger brother, Pearly Day, who does appear in the series. The only one of his siblings that doesn't appear, except is as in the episode Kristen I forgot, is, um, Alice, and she's- and that's only as a child. In the season 9 episode, Once Upon a Time, oh no, what's Lord decided to do for the time? Oh, um... Is this center of book writing contest? Yes, okay. I don't really know season 9 that well. <laughs> they got me there, but I got it. Okay. I get that one mixed up with all three authors. I get the names mixed up. Okay. What is the name of the bully who taunts his teacher and classmates in the episode of Werewolf Along a Grill? That is... Bart, I don't remember his last name. Bartholomew Slater Jr. That is his name. There we go. Which of the following was not one of the made for television in the House and Prairie movies that followed the series? K. Uh, Little House on the Prairie, Trip to the City, that was it. So yeah, Little House on the Prairie, Look Back to Yesterday in 83, uh, Last Farewell 84, and Bless All the Dear Children in 84. And by the way, Last Farewell, I cried. I uh, back to your back yesterday, almost cried. Blessed your children, could care less. Doesn't is not like that. Ooh, it's like ooh, why? Um, which of the following house in the prairie cookers did not exist in real life? The answer is Grace Singles. Oh, really, Nellie Olson? Fictional create character created by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Well, hmm, according to the way she used her classmates. Nellie Owens and Genevieve Masters and Stella Gilbert as oh Stella Gilbert that's interesting as inspiration for the character really I did not know that actually hmm. which of the following well-known actors did not make a guest appearance on the house prayer let's see Sh oh oh my goodness they got me okay uh, I don't recognize any of these names well I recognize Kevin Bacon but I don't think he was on the house in the prairie but then again he might have uh, I'll go with Kevin Bacon oh okay never mind okay I guess I was right there. Okay. Um, next question. How many children, both biological and adopted, did Charles and Carolyn have? Okay. So they had the four girls, and then they adopted... Oh, they, plus they had um, Charles Jr. who died, so that's five. Plus they adopted three, so eight. Yes, okay. Daughters Mary, Laura, and Carrie, who served central figures last in the prairie home, but they finally expanded birth of their daughter Grace, adopted son Albert, Dr. Both siblings, both siblings, Cassandra and James, lost son Charles Jr. when he was just an infant. Right, okay, perfect. How many Emmy Awards does the Prairie Okay, this I don't know. If this was the Waltons, I could probably tell you because I think they've won at least like four a season, so that's like 36. Lost in the Prairie, well, I mean, it could be less. I mean, I don't think it was that many. Let's go with four. Oh, it is four, okay. Outstanding Cinematography and Entertainment in 1978, Outstanding Cinematography Series 79, Outstanding Music Composition for Series 79, Outstanding Ach Achievement for Music Composition Series 82, so that would have been Season 8. I think 78 would have been 5, 79, okay, 79, the Outstanding Cinematography Series, I think that was the episode where they make them proud with the fire, because I know, I know, I did read that they, the, uh, uh, Cameraman got an Emmy for that, I did read that. 
How many seasons are there left in the Okay, well, the answer is nine. 184 episodes of the span of eight years. Hmm. Okay, view my results. Okay, I don't want to. Can I get out of this, please? Oh, close. Ooh, I passed. 223 out of 25. That is pretty good, but if I do say so myself, I'm not sure that is a percent, but let's calculate that right now. Okay. 23 divided by 25 equals... 92%. Okay, so here's my challenge for you. Go to uh, Grizz Quiz, or just look up the Hudson Prairie um, Quiz and look up, you want the one that's Quiz Grizz, and I might put this in the description if I can figure out how to do that. Um, actually, I probably will because I know how to do that. Um, and take this quiz. If you get higher than 92%, so that means you have to get 24 or 25. I mean, I did just say the answers, so... Maybe do this after a while. Um, but if you get better than that, if you get better than 24, if you get better than, 90, than 23 or 25, let me know in the comments, and let me know what your score was, and which questions you got right. If you, if you got them all right, just say you got them all right, which ones you got wrong, and I'll tell you, and I'm compare them to my score. Okay, so that's going to be for this video. Should give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, sit for the next video, which will probably be this evening. Um, I'm not sure what on. Hopefully, on something like that's unfair. Right, see you.